Hello and welcome back to Freedom Seekers. Today we are in Catalonia, we are still on our winter holiday and I'm going to show you the house where we are staying at the moment, just outside Amaya del Mar. We found a lovely pet friendly villa. So let's, let's get in, let's get around and have a little nosy. I hope you will enjoy this video. Just in case, if you are here first time and you don't know me, my name is Kat and together with my husband and our dog Diesel, we live in England where we work uh, seasonally, we work for eight months in a year. We live in a caravan to save money and to be able to travel in winter. And you are joining us on one of our winter trips. This time we are in Spain, in beautiful Catalonia. This is our second home this winter. Uh, so if you are curious what it's all about and what we get here for our money, give me a thumbs up and stay till the end of this video to find out where we are staying this time. Just as I was explaining, in England we live in a caravan. We have maybe 15 square meters of uh, living space for me, my husband and our dog. And we always thought that we really are quite good at minimalism and living a simple life we thought that we don't need any luxuries to feel happy and that we are okay with you know simple rustic basic accommodation as long as we have outdoor space for our dog but this was until we found this villa in catalonia which costs exactly the same as the previous house in valencia and I believe that uh, Catalonia is a bit less popular in winter because it's a bit colder here, a slightly different climate, but look at me today, it's still lovely. If you live in England, even Catalonia for winter will be like a paradise. So for exactly the same money which we paid for the previous house, we got this beautiful villa with lovely finishing touches and well, you will see yourself in a minute. So if you haven't seen the tour of the first rustic house, uh, the description uh, has a link to the first video and a link to the previous uh, house tour will appear towards the end of this one. But don't leave me yet because we have some beautiful, beautiful things to show you here. Starting with a garden. Garden is absolutely stunning and immaculate. And yeah, a bit different than the first garden for those of you who watched the first video. It is a pet friendly property. We have lovely... Uh, fence with this uh, plastic screen which adds to privacy and we are all very very happy here as you can see our dog is chilling so now I'm standing at the gate and as you walk in the first thing which you see are those two beautiful palm trees which are absolutely amazing so from the moment you walk in you actually feel okay that's a bit different. Another lovely surprise was lawn and grass. It's not easy to find grass in Spain because it's expensive to maintain in such hot and dry climate. So the fact that our dog has grass, this is something remarkable. It's quite a mature garden and you can see a lot of thought and a lot of love and also investment poured into this little plot. I know I promised you a tour of the house, but you have to agree that this garden deserves a mention in this video. The pool is absolutely beautiful, it's illuminated at night, it's, it's lovely and it's clean in itself. There is a little, little hoover um, moving around the bottom of this pool, picking up any dirt. I will not be diving in today because the temperature of water is just below 5 degrees. So thank you very much. Unless you prefer cold swimming, you are welcome. I will be admiring, admiring the pool, but not swimming. So by the pool, we have a lovely barbecue area, as you can see. Again, a huge barbecue, this time outside. We also have a sink here, a fridge, a bench. Lovely. We've got some serious pot for cooking paella. So you can have a barbecue, enjoy your meal here and admire the pool and the palm trees. There are no traditional bars on the windows, but elegant shutters, which we can close and open as we choose. There is also table tennis to keep us fit and active. There is a utility room with a washing machine. 
really good news for families and everyone who likes to pack light. These steps lead to the roof terrace and this is where I will finish my video. I will meet you there towards the end of this film. So stay tuned if you want to see the terrace and the view from the terrace. The outdoor space is absolutely beautiful and trust me it gets even better inside. So let's have a look what we get inside, what we have this time. A lovely conservatory with a table and a sofa. This house sleeps six, but I think you could squeeze in more. Even someone, maybe not here, but there are more sofas. So lovely sunny space and another, another eating area. This is the second eating area. And there is more because as you walk into the living room there is another table so obviously the owners love to eat and entertain because there are so many tables and places to sit and eat anyway the color scheme as you can see yellow uh, orange red very bright very warm colors and not everyone could agree with this taste and this style but you have to admit that it's very consistent and it is consistent throughout the whole property. Someone is obviously fascinated with ancient Greece and Rome and they like gold paint, which again, maybe not to everyone's taste, but it, it works here. It works here. So what we noticed from the moment we walked in was the quality, quality of the finish, quality of the furniture, even quality of this fireplace, which is big. This is the biggest fireplace we've ever used. And we've been to a few holiday houses with fireplace. It's absolutely huge. And when you open it, there is a switch. <laughs> and we were wondering, what is this? Well, this is a little fan which distributes the heat from the fireplace for the whole room. Again, first time we've seen something like that. Have you ever seen a build-up, build-in fan around the fireplace? Sometimes when people have a wood burner, they put a little fan on the wood burner to circulate the air. Here we have it. Uh, as an electronic electric fan. The uh, dining area is uh, separated from the lounge with the sofa and the owners of course knew that we are coming with a dog and we were very pleased to see that the sofas were covered for us so when we walked in the sofas were covered both sofas and also the chairs which is really lovely because it means <laughs> because it means that we are all welcome here you know including our big dog and if a property owner says to me oh yeah you can bring a dog here for two weeks for a month but dog cannot be on the sofa come on get real do you really think that anyone would be taking their dog on this long trip would drive with the dog for three days to get to Spain and not allow his or her dog on the sofa that's not realistic. As you can see, we all love our lounge. <laughs> and we love lounging here. I like how those three spaces are connected. So you can see the garden from the living room. You can open the windows. From the lounge, you can also access conservatory through this lovely door. So you can in the summer you can have all these doors open and have one lovely relaxing space for you to enjoy very clever design i'm not sure if you would need one but there is a huge smart tv in the living room there is also a lovely bluetooth speaker very powerful and first time i see a piece of equipment like that in a holiday let there are many lovely finishing and decorative touches which were all immaculate when we moved in not a spot of dust i wouldn't be bothered with dusting all this but someone obviously was from the dining area you can access the kitchen which is very generous and has a lovely window and what i love about this kitchen is that when you when you are by the sink you can just open the window and admire the beautiful palm trees in the garden it's amazing how garden and house lend each other you know the garden invites itself to the house 
We have a, a dishwasher, but it's such a lovely spot here by the sink that I actually enjoy washing the dishes here. The kitchen has everything um, that you need, a very big fridge freezer. And when we came in, when we moved in, there were glasses, there are still some glasses, look, very, very cold. The owners put, um, actually f froze glasses for us so we can enjoy cold drinks very nice we have a big stove and look at that finish beautiful stone we also got a coffee machine and coffee pots nice there was not a gram of instant coffee and judging after these cups i think you can we can guess the, the nationality of the owner of the house. The kitchen is lovely. It really encourages you to cook. If you have a vague interest in food and cooking, Spain would be perfect for you because all the ingredients are of really high quality. The prices are very reasonable and you can get as much seafood and shellfish as you want really and you will not break a bank. Yeah. It's a country for foodies. So everything that you would need is here, but this pizza dough is not included. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you would like a pizza recipe, let me know and I will prepare a separate video on how I make homemade pizza. Moving on. We are moving on, moving out from the kitchen, saying goodbye to the golden unisex angel. And I will show you now the two bedrooms and two bathrooms which we have here. So this is a bedroom which we don't use. The house has two double bedrooms. Actually, this one has two double beds. There is this one and also a pull-out bed here, which could be ideal for a young family. So you could easily sleep uh, maybe two children or one slim adult here on this bed. It is a decent sized double bedroom with a fitted wardrobe and a smart TV. There is a TV in the lounge and in each bedroom. In total we have three TVs which may be a bit of an overkill, but I don't know, maybe that would work for you. Let me know in the comments. Would you need three TVs when you go on a holiday with your family? A nice bright bedroom with lovely curtain nets in the windows, books and a pull-out bed. Next to this bedroom there is a shower room, very modern, up-to-date and as we have two bathrooms with two toilets, we obviously use one each. And I have to admit, it's quite an experience because as, as I said earlier, we live in a caravan full time for eight months in a year to have your own private bathroom. This is quite a something. This is something I will remember from this house. This is Marek's bathroom. Marek chose a shower room. And shower is absolutely lovely here. Look at that. And just to have a reality check, there's no central heating in this house, so we have a few electric heaters and electricity is included in the bill. If you come in winter, ask, ask if it's included because it depends on the property owner. So now I will show you my lady's bathroom, which is much bigger. And there is a bathtub. That's why I chose it, because I like a nice bath. It's a nice, clean, bathroom a bit older than Marek's uh, shower room as you can see another heater there but I like it it's okay it's a bit dated but it's been very very clean when we got it and I appreciate the bathtub hmm I'm not actually sure you could say that this bathroom is a bit dated because marble probably doesn't age anyway by this time you are probably wondering where is the second bedroom there it is it's all sweet Again, sunny colors and beautiful decorations. In our master bedroom, we have a decent sized double bed, a beautiful fitted wardrobe and two equally pretty side tables. Look, look at the quality of this. This is not a typical holiday let furnished with IKEA cheap furniture. No, no, no. This is something different. It's all in the detail and the detail throughout the house is very consistent. 
and as I said earlier, you could disagree with that, you could say this is not pretty, but it's visible that someone had a vision for this house and it's been kept, you know, and realized in all rooms. Of course we have a TV. And guess what? You can't see the cable. Even this, even this has been looked after. It's connected to the mains over here, but there are no cables trailing. It's all in detail. Bed and bedding are great. And when you are here in this bed, you only think of two things as you lie in. You can't help but wonder, did the person fitting this heavy light fitting do a good job? And did they also fit this huge painting above my head? Well, so far so good, they are still in places. <laughs> Hopefully it will stay like that till the end of our stay. We absolutely love this bedroom. It's huge. It's really, really big. So we can have dog's bed here along our bed. We have space for this. The wardrobe is huge. And bathroom with my bathtub is through this door. It's lovely to step out of the bath and get in your comfortable bed. So everything in this house, every single detail has been taken care of and has been thought of. And yeah, we as customers, we pay for the service and the owners and property managers and housekeepers and gardeners, they deliver a service. But in this house, the level of detail and the level of love poured here you really feel you don't get customer service, you get customer care. You feel really, really cared for. And this house is booked a year ahead. So if you are thinking about booking this, and I will leave you a link to, uh, in the description of this video. If you are thinking about booking this villa, you have to book a year ahead. It's so popular and nothing strange. It's amazing. Yes, it's not top of the spec yet. No, 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 it's not ultra luxurious and super expensive. It's affordable. But for me and Marek, it's the most uh, luxurious property we've ever been to, I think. And we do love it and we do enjoy it. And I think we will book this one again, not the uh, Casa Rural in Valencia. However, it's not easy to compare these two properties because the setting is different. Uh, location is different. Here we are closer to the sea. We are three kilometers from the sea and we are in Catalonia, not in Valencia. Um, we are on the estate, not in the middle of nowhere. We don't see farms and orange groves here. Uh, we see other houses. However, luckily, not the full... Uh, this residential area hasn't been fully developed yet. So there are many wild patches which we love and which you will see from the roof because it's time for your reward and a tour of the roof for those who stay till the end. So here is the evidence that the sea is over there, you can see it, and we have glorious mountains right ahead of us and the estate. But luckily on this street, we are on the corner plot, so we have some empty space behind us. We have only one villa next to us and the building is on the other end of the plot, so it's very private, very quiet. As you can see, we are separated by this lovely hedge and we have this wild area ahead of us so yes we are in a residential area the urbanization is called uh, Les Tres Cales but it's still quiet it's still semi wild and it's not built up you know to the limit it's actually very pleasant and we booked this property in January and we are one of very few residents in the whole estate 
and we can walk to two bars. There are two bars on uh, Leicester Scales, which makes a bit of a difference from staying in rural Tlalba in the middle of nowhere. However, this one had also its charms. So please tell me in the comments which house would you book? Uh, see the other video of another holiday house we've been to this year for the same money, I have to stress. And let us know which one would you choose, which one is more to your taste. Anyway, time to finish this vlog. The sun is still shining. It's, uh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. We are having such a great time. There's also so much to explore, so much to see and do here. So check out our other videos from Spain if you are interested in what we've been up to. It's bye-bye from me for now. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your kind comments and likes. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe, please help us with growing our channel and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you will get a notification each time we release a new vlog. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.